Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel where I'm going to make videos on homemaking, femininity, cleaning and simple living. So if those are topics that you're interested in please do subscribe below so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So this week I decided to give the Fly Lady Cleaning app a try. I've heard so much about it through the past couple of months so I thought I'd give it a try for myself. I actually downloaded this app a couple of months ago and I just kind of didn't understand all the different aspects of it so I kind of I think I used the morning routine a couple of times and then just kind of left it because I didn't take the time to actually understand what it was all about so after hearing the name fly lead lady cleaning method about a million times since then I decided to actually give it a proper try this time and I wanted to take you through sort of my first week of doing that and then let you know my thoughts at the end about how it all went and what parts of it I'm going to keep and what parts I might just adjust a little bit to fit my particular schedule and home. So the first thing I noticed that I just want to point out about this method is I found that it's not just about cleaning which is something I really liked. It's got loads of things in there for your well-being as well such as drinking water, going to bed at a decent hour and also exercising. So I really enjoyed that sort of part of it that it it, you know it encourages you to be the healthiest version of yourself which is something I've already mentioned in another video so you can tell it's going to be something that will probably feature on my channel a lot is the importance of well-being and taking care of yourself both mentally and physically. So there are a couple of different parts to the fly lady method there's different routines and there's different sort of aspects that I want to sort of explain so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this video into those different aspects let you know how I got on with it and sort of explain what it's all about. So those different parts are the morning routine, the afternoon routine, the evening routine, the zone cleaning and then the weekly blessing hour. So I'm going to talk you through all of those different things. So the first thing I'm going to get started on talking about is all about the morning routine. So first of all, I'm going to talk you through about what my morning routine looked like on the fly lady method. So first of all, I would wake up. I usually wake up about 8am on weekdays. Um, that's since the whole lockdown thing and coronavirus. Usually before that, it would be a lot earlier, but I just don't see any point in getting up two hours earlier just to kind of sit around my house for another two hours <laughs> so I treat myself to a lie-in these days and that is usually about eight o'clock so when I wake up at eight o'clock the first thing I do is make my bed and obviously draw my curtains and let the natural sunlight in the next thing I have to do instantly is feed Murphy he is a very hungry little pup <laughs> and I don't think Yorkies are that well known for being really like food orientated but but Murphy certainly is so pretty much as soon as I wake up the first thing I have to do is put his biscuits down for him and then the next very important thing I have to do is make a cup of tea so I'm making a cup of tea first thing in the morning no matter what even if I'm really busy it's like I just can't function without my cup of tea in the morning so I will make myself a cup of tea and these days as well with my fiance working from home I'll also make him one as well so once I've made my cup of tea this is my favorite part of my morning routine where I will sit down at my dressing table with my cup of tea and I will just do my makeup, my hair, all the self-care steps that are so important. So once I'm all ready and I've done my hair and my makeup, the next thing to do is get dressed. So the fly lady method tells you to get dressed to shoes, which means putting your shoes on as well, even if you're not going out. And the idea of that is that it's going to make you more productive throughout the day. So personally for me, I just don't like the idea of walking shoes throughout the house. So I like to have slippers instead that have got hard soles that if I really needed to I don't know run outside to put something in the bin then I still could do that so it still makes me feel productive and I still feel ready for the day but I just feel like it's more hygienic. 
So for this I got, I treated myself to some new slippers so I'm going to show you the ones I got because oh I just so recommend them. They are from Amazon and they look like this and they're just so snuggly inside so I'm going to link them below in case anyone's interested. So yeah, so I've been getting dressed from head to toe but for my shoes I've been wearing these slippers which do have hard soles on so if I needed to I could run outside. Not that I need too much these days. <laughs> So now it's on to the cleaning and tidying aspect of the morning routine. So the first thing you have to do is empty the dishwasher. I don't have a dishwasher so the thing for me to do is put the dishes that were drying in the rack overnight away. So I do that every single morning. The next thing to do is a swish and a swipe of the bathroom. So what I do for this is a quick spray of my shower. I use the Astonish Daily Shower Shine which you just spray on and leave so it's absolutely great for this. I put some bleach down my toilet and I just take some antibacterial wipes and just quickly get rid of any dust, any hair, any toothpaste in the sink, just anything obvious that you can see and give it a quick little clean up. This also helps when you want to do your in-depth bathroom clean as well because it just never gets as bad. In, in fact it barely gets the stage where it needs cleaning if you're just staying on top of it every day. So that is one thing out of this method that I'm definitely going to keep and absolutely love. The next part is to put on a laundry load every morning so I personally don't need to do this every morning there is only me and my fiance living in this house there's no kids just yet so there's no reason to have to do a daily load and I find it saves money as well if you do larger loads so I pretty much did every other day so I'd think about it every morning and make a conscious decision if it needed to be done and that has worked out absolutely brilliantly for me so it's now the weekend and we've got all our clothes clean and dried our towels have been done and our bed sheets I do every Sunday as well and then the last step of the morning routine is to check your calendar and I personally make a to-do list as well so that's sort of the admin portion of the routine that's going to keep you on top of everything that you need to do that day and just make you feel fully set up for the day so overall the morning routine I absolutely loved that is something I'm going to be sticking to every single day and I'm definitely not going to change any part of it because it just worked out so perfectly throughout this week so I highly recommend if you don't want to try any of the other parts just the morning routine will make such a huge difference So the next part is the afternoon routine. So because I'm currently working from home, I actually split the afternoon routine into two different sections. So the first section is what I did in my lunch hour and the last section is what I did once I finished work in that first sort of half an hour of finishing work, which I actually found really nice as well in sort of closing off the day in my mind and making me feel like I'm no longer working and I can get into full homemaking mode. So during the first part of my afternoon, afternoon routine. That's when I would think about what I was making for dinner and do any necessary prep. So this week I have made a slow cooker curry which is absolutely incredible. You literally just throw all the ingredients in and then by dinner time it's all done for you. So if you don't have a slow cooker then I highly recommend that. And then if I was making something that was sort of quicker to make in the evening I would just make sure that everything that's going into it, all the ingredients were prepped. So chopping any onions and things like that and just making sure that it's all going to be easy for me to cook dinner really quickly once I finish. The next step of the afternoon routine which I've already mentioned that I really enjoy is the fact that it reminds you to drink water which we all need so I would just check in with myself make sure that I was drinking enough water that day and if not I would fill up a giant bottle of water and make sure I get through that in the afternoon. Also during my lunch hour that is when my laundry would be finished and ready to sort of dry so I'd either put it in the tumble dryer or I'd hang it out depending on how big it was and which things couldn't go in the tumble dryer and that also meant that it was dry by the evening so every other day I had fresh laundry that was dry by the evening and then I could just put that away and it just worked so well. My afternoon routine once I finished work, so the second part was to have a quick 15 minute declutter. So things like that included are things like picking up Murphy's toys which go everywhere. In fact I've got one next to me right now, this is his giant long snake, this is one of his favourites. He's got a rag here. <laughs> 
<laughs> just Murphy's toys get absolutely everywhere so I make sure to do a 15 minute declutter of Murphy's toys also if the laundry was finished by then that would be time to put it away and organize it I would organize any paperwork that had been left out through my work day and make sure that everything's put away just little things like that just going around your house just having a quick check in every room seeing what needs to declutter and what needs to be put away folding any blankets just simple things like that and then you do 50 minutes of what's called zone cleaning so depending on what zone it is depends on what room you're going to clean which I'm going to go into in a minute when I talk about zone cleaning and then the final part of my afternoon routine is to do exercise so I've been going on my spin bike for half an hour every single day when I finish work which I really 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 enjoy I just get all the happy feelings the endorphins and it makes me feel really good about myself and healthy so I really recommend 30 minutes of exercise in the afternoon morning or evening whatever works for you just to make Make you feel energized and give you those endorphins which are so much needed at the moment <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the evening slash before bed routine. So the first thing I would do is make sure that I've done all the dishes that I've accumulated at dinner time. So I'll make sure that all of the dishes are done and in the drying rack, ready to put be put away the next morning. Then I clean my sink, which is a huge staple of the fly lady cleaning method. I feel like every cleaning Instagram account, every cleaning method includes information about cleaning your sink. I just feel like if your sink is clean it's just such a nice feeling <laughs> so my personal method is I fill it with bicarbonate of soda I then pour some white vinegar over it and honestly I feel like a little scientist when I do that it fizzes up and it's just glorious <laughs> so I just clean my sink with that I then put a cap of Zaflora down the sink and a capful in the bucket that sort of sits in my sink I then boil the kettle and pour the boiling water up and that makes the smell of the Zaflora just fill the entire kitchen and it smells absolutely incredible. And then I'll just put any cloths that I've used to clean my kitchen throughout the day in the Zaflora and boiling water to disinfect overnight. The next thing I do is clean the surfaces of the kitchen and it says two minutes of cleaning any hot spot. So for me, every night that has been cleaning our sort of dining room table, which is sort of a coffee table in our living room because we live in a tiny little bungalow. <laughs> so I've been making sure that I clean my coffee table and my kitchen sinks for my two minute hot spot cleaning in the evening. So next is all about self care. So that's skincare, wash your hair if you need to, have a little pamper session, have a bath, so all that is about the daily hygiene that you already know so I'm not going to go too much into that and then optionally as well is to lay out your clothes for the next day and pack any bags and put out anything that you need for the next day so I personally skip that step because I have plenty of time in the morning to choose my outfit and I really enjoy doing it on the day depending on the weather and things like that so again the morning afternoon and evening routines I would recommend to anyone they have implemented in my life so easily this week and made me feel so much more organized and on top of everything so the morning afternoon and evening routines is something I would recommend to anyone I'm definitely gonna continue doing myself So next I'm going to move on to zone cleaning. So I personally still I'm finding it difficult to know off the top of my head all the different zones and it, to explain them fully. So what I'm going to do is go on to the Fly Lady cleaning website and sort of read out to you what the zones are and what they mean. Okay so there is zone one which occurs on the first week of the month and that is where you concentrate on your entrance, front porch and dining room. So I personally don't have a dining room so for me that is just the entrance and the front porch. So zone two is the kitchen. It says that most of our kitchens need a full week of cleaning, which is 15 minutes a day. And that is usually the first full week in each month. Zone three is the main bathroom and one other room in the house. So for me, I only have one bathroom in the house and it's two bedrooms. So we have the master bedroom and then just one other one. So that would be that one. And this is usually the second full week of the month. 
Zone four is the master bedroom, which includes the closet, the bathroom in the master bedroom if you have an ensuite. And then zone five, which is the zone that I started on this week, and that is the living room. And that usually takes place on the fifth week of the month and it usually only lasts a few days. So they're the sort of zones. And what Fly Lady says to do is sort of start with her zones. And then once you graduate, she calls it, you can then customize it to your own zones. So personally for me, because my house is so much smaller than what is described in the zones, I just found it very, very difficult to follow. I started trying to edit the zones and things like that, and it was just getting all a little bit too complicated for me. So what I've decided to do for my personal zones is I set a different room each day. So for example, Monday I might do the living room, Tuesday I could do the hallway, Wednesday the kitchen, Thursday the bathroom, Friday the second bedroom, and then Saturday and Sunday day I can do the master bedroom and that personally works out better for me so I know that the zone parts of the fly lady are the parts that most people would want to customize I think it's hard to sort of make a review on how that's going to work for everyone for me personally having a different room every day in a small bungalow is absolutely perfect and it means that I'll be able to just keep on top of everything every day than rather than having to do a huge clean at the weekend which is something I really really like So the last part of the fly lady cleaning method is the one hour weekly blessing. So I have been doing this forever. <laughs> I've always cleaned my house top to bottom over the weekend but I like that this is only an hour and because you've sort of kept up with it through the week there isn't actually that much to do so it's a lot more peaceful and slow paced. It's where you sort of do the dusting, hoovering, mopping, things that you don't do in the everyday throughout your cleaning routine. So I'm thinking of filming what I do in my weekly blessing hour as sort of a clean with me so let me know if that's something you like to see by commenting below. So that is pretty much the the whole fly lady cleaning method it's the different routines the zone cleaning and then the weekly hour blessing overall i have really enjoyed it and i'm definitely going to keep most of the aspects in my everyday cleaning routine the only thing like i've mentioned that i'm going to change is the zone cleaning which i think most people do as well so if you're thinking about trying the fly lady cleaning method then definitely give it a go i hope this video has helped you make sense of the little parts of it so once again i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one